Hello everyone, it's Sue from Crafts to Enjoy and welcome to my craft room today. Today I'm making Christmas cards. Yes, I've been making them for months and I just love it. I had a really fab time. Um, today I'm going to make something that I used to make many moons ago when I did an iris folding class. Um, so this is one of the ideas that came out of that a long time ago. It's called a TP card. So I have my trusty scoreboard here. I've got some designer series paper that is just gorgeous. I just love this 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 uh, set. And it's called what's it called? Hang on, let me just find it. Where's it gone? I use this such a lot, and this is just lovely. That's one of the other ones. Let's let's get them out and show you. Um, oh, this pack. I'm on pack number two. That's I love it that much, which is always a good sign. So this is just lovely. That's lovely. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous. And there's the green that there's oh, I can't hardly speak at them. Look at this. That is so trendy this year. And they're all double sided. I only got to the double sided bits. If it, if God really don't like this side. There's a double side, there's another side to it. And look at all that. Anyway, let's put those back in their bag. But they are lovely. And it's called uh, Brightly Gleaming Specialty Paper Series. And it's in the Christmas catalogue. And I really like it. I've used it a lot. I've made some boxes and various things for my family this year. So, um, yes. Um, th so I've got four, sorry, three pieces of the paper that are cut four by four inches into a square. And then I'm going to um, score diagonally from that point to that point. You can just, just and the, the one that's side that's facing, it's facing you is going to be the right side. So what I've done with my Simply Scored, I don't know if you can see that here. I've actually got a Sharpie and gone down a line. <laughs> So, mine's a bit messy, but um, I've actually gone down a line so you can see where um, the scoring is going to be. So I'm going to line this up, or you can do what I've done there. Just keep your, put your ball tool in the groove and double check it's going to be, it's going to be straight. That's on there and that's on there. So get the points in that lined up and just go along. Just gen not too, you can always add pressure, but you can't take it away. Obviously, this is paper, so you need, need to be a little bit careful, but it's quite strong, relatively strong. So I'm just double checking my points. I did a lot of this type of thing in as iris folding. Goodness me, years ago I did call I did courses and things on it back then, and it's really good fun. I'm sure it'll come back one day like most things do let's put that out the way so i'm going to definitely need here a um a bone folder to, you need it to be really really nice and crisp and there are bone folders and there are bone folders and these are the ones that i use um i don't exactly know what this one's made of but it's a stamping up one and it's a good quality one there are others out there on the market i have to be honest but they are not as good and they sometimes mark your card somehow whatever they're made of if it's resin or whatever it actually comes off and marks your card so you could end up with a you know it needs to be a decent one mine's you know been dropped on the floor many times or i've been crafting in and out of the car so it's quite um it's quite they're quite durable which is you know sometimes if you invest wisely this will last you an absolute lifetime some of the cheaper ones also the points wear down if you're using it or where you're doing this it they, they cut a wear and you can see the marks on it but this one i've used it for God, goodness knows how long and there's nothing on it so it doesn't they don't wear so that's really good um so i'm gonna start putting it together you need a bit of glue or it doesn't look like much at the moment. You think, how's that going to work? So um, you think the one that I'm putting down is going to... This one facing up now is the inside. And you need to kind of get your your um, square with... that. There's my crease line I've just made, my fold line. And I'm going to put that like a bit like a, this square that, that way. Can you see so that my... That's number one to that piece. This is number two, fold. And I only need to glue this section here. So all I'm going to do is just use my finger, and I'm going to now I need to just glue that piece there. So let's grab the glue and do that. Hopefully my glue won't be camera shy. So that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to put that point. I think you can see that, and butt it right up to the the fold line. I'm just going to glue that down. Hopefully that doesn't go down to the table as well. So I just want to double check that's all nice and flush to this edge because you will see this when it's done um, and then with my other piece 
Again, it needs to be, so that's in the middle and those two bits are like, a bit like an arrow. That's how I kind of think of it. That needs to butt up as well, the same as the other side. So I know, I know where I need to put my glue. These cards are so quick and easy, you know. If you've got a scrap of the, or a slither, um, you know, sort of like a four by 12 inch of, of the paper left, you could just make some of these. or just make a load of these from, from the paper. That's really, they're really cool. So, so that's really our basic, I just need to go over that fold line again so it all fits in nicely. And that's our basic card. It does remind me of like a Christmas tree. So, um, you know, to make this, to, so it can, obviously th this side edge of it needs to be secured down, but I want to put mine in an envelope and send it to somebody. And I'm gonna put a little note in the post-it note saying, assemble your card here. So I'm gonna put little notes on it when it's finished. But you need to make it so, you can either put some double-sided tape and let them peel it off, or you could do what I'm gonna do here, I think. And, um, or shall I? No, I'm going to stick with that. My tear and tape isn't here. You could use your tear and tape and leave the sticky bit on so they could, you know, just put a little post-it then, you know, attach to that to make, make assemble, self-assembly Christmas cards. How cool is that? Or you could use your Zig Clue-way glue pen. I can't even speak. Zig two-way glue pen. And you could put... So that needs to be glued down that side. So I know it's going to be kind of here. And I'm going to put just a little line of it. Let it dry. And it turns this glue turns into like a repositionable, um, like a post it, you know, the sticky you note, know, the sticky bits that's at the top where it secures it. So when that's dry, you need to let it dry for a few seconds, it will make I made that up, but also it will hold not only hold it together, but I can take it off and I can reposition it, and then that's how that, that's now holding it, and then I can take it off. So it's just like post-it glue. It's really cool. So, um, yes. Who knew? <laughs> My um, card looks a bit boring, so I thought I was going to put another tree on it because you can never have too many trees at this time of year. So I'm going to just... I've got a scrap of the card here. I love this card. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, and it's Pretty Peacock. How cool is that? Love this colour. And obviously it's featured in the... Um, the card there so that really is nice it matches and if you one thing i meant to say is let's grab the paper it actually tells you what one coordinates with it so if you're on the back of the card it says like mossy meadow knight of navy pretty peacock or very vanilla so if you're thinking well hang on what color is that it tells you there so there's no real guesswork involved you just go to that grab your pack of that and off you go so you, but you can do any colour you like. But I'm, I've chosen Knight of Navy. I wanted to emboss a tree on it. Now, I've noticed that that has got a copper colour on it. The copper's really in this year. So I've got my copper embossing embossing powder. And I've got a tree stamp from Perfectly Plaid. And I've also got my matching bun, matching um, punch and my bundle. That's really, really cool. I have got my um, embossing buddy. I just want to do a tree. So I wanted to also do a, a greeting. So I've just gone over that with my bottom buddy. I'm then going to grab my Versamark ink. This Versamark basically um, makes your embossing powder stick. So this is, um, mine's a bit grubby, as you can see, well used. This is how they get, so don't be too well put off by that. There is ways to clean them, and you obviously you can re-ink them, so they just last a long time. So I'm just going to, I want to do one tree. Hopefully, and then I'm going to put that in my embossing for embossing powder. So I've got a bit of a cold, so you'll have to excuse my me sniffling or sounding a bit stuffy. That's that little bit done. I'm going to heat that up and grab my um, silica mat. I get noise, I get the heat done out. There we are, so I'm going to heat that up. I wonder if, you, if I hold that up, you'll be able to see it. Let's see it, watch it change colour, watch the magic happen. Oh, I think you might. I've got that at the right angle. Can you see it changing? Oh, I get a little like... Look at that! That's like a moment where I just love heat embossing. It's one of my absolute favourites, but look at that. So now, because it matches, that's great, isn't it? I love it. 
um, oh, I get a little crafting happiness. I don't care. People can think what they like. You may like it, you may not, but I love it. So this is what I love to do. So um, for me, it's just like a little happy moment. I should call it a name, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just gonna got the punch there. I'm gonna punch that out. It's flying everywhere. And then I wanted to just put a little greeting on there. And I have Christmas cheer from the Tidings All Around stamp set. I've got a few stamp sets out today. So, but you could use anything you like. You could use any other one. And this particular one, I've used this before. No, it doesn't fit in there, does it? No, I thought it did fit in a punch, but it doesn't. So we're gonna have to just cut it. Um, I wanted to just do Christmas cheer on a, on a, on a, a strip of card. So let's just find a strip of card. I don't think I have a strip in there. So we can cut it, it's not a problem. So I'm going to think where to put it. About there, I think. So I'm just gonna do that first. Get exactly the same again with my Versa mark. I'm just going to turn that around so it's well inked and I don't miss any bits because I'm just going straight in with my stamp. I'm going to try and actually use the bottom edge, line the stamp up with the bottom edge of the card. So hopefully it will only require less sort of cutting. I might just grab just a pair of scissors, but you can do whatever you, you like. Yeah, not long to Christmas now. I love this time of year. I know I start early, but I just love playing with all the Christmassy things. I love it, love it, love it. I'm like a big child, really, and no bad thing. So I'm going to get my heat in my sink. So I'll try to see if we can do that again. Can we get the right angle? <coughs> I think we can. But that isn't too noisy, but, you know, it's important that you see it. How it changes. It's important here not to over overheat your powder because you can burn it or burn the card. Obviously, you have to be really, really careful because there is a heat source involved. So that's done and looks rather lovely. And I like that. And I'm just going to quickly cut that. This is lovely. Look at this. I've got a big pair of scissors here that I use for this job, but you know, you could use a trimmer. I'm just going straight in with my big boy scissors. So, there we go. My cat's just wandered in as well. So, I'm just going to finish this card off now. I'm going to grab my dimensionals and put that tree on there. So, I want a couple on the back of that. Oh, this looks great. Look at it. I love it. I'm going to put three on there because it is going to, I'm going to have to post this. So, I know exactly who it's going to. How cool is that? So I wanted to just put a about kind of there. So it's in the kind of on the centre and a Christmas Christmas cheer. I'm gonna put that straight, I think. I'm going to use my dimensionals, but I want to use the the I call the but they call the bone the edge bits. So I'm just gonna get my scissors and cut that off. And use that up. It's a great way to use your dimensionals, you know, the edges, edgy bits of them. So I'm just going to put that on there. Christmas cheer is on. What do we think? And obviously it does come apart, so I can put that in the post to somebody. I might probably put something over that, and it goes something like that in the post. So I better put that in an envelope to send to somebody, and then they can assemble it at home. How cool is that? TP card, yeah, I've been there for a long time. So, thank you very much for watching today. I do have all the socials, so if you'd like to also go over to my blog and um, check out all the inspiration that things I've been doing over there, you can. Or like to buy any of the uh, products I've used today, you can. And there's also um, lots of inspiration. So, go over to my blog that is Crafts to Enjoy and click on. Don't forget to on my YouTube channel to click on the bell and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you very much for watching today and I hope to see you next time. Have a very creative, crafty day. Thank you. Bye-bye.